Yeah, an emotional scene it was once the judge read the verdict. Cries of burn in hell and garbage came from the courtroom gallery as the county sheriff's deputies led Justin Schubach away after the jury's verdict was re read. The verdict in the trial concerning the death of Robert Barron came in just before 2 o'clock, right after the jury finished their lunch. Jurors convicted Justin Schubach of first-degree murder. As Lackawanna County Judge Terrence Nealon read the verdict, Barron's widow, Maria, began to cry in the first row of the packed courtroom gallery. Her son, Bobby, slapped his hand against his leg. It was an emotional climax for a story that began more than seven years ago, when Barron disappeared from his restaurant in Old Forge. District Attorney Mark Powell told reporters that the case was closed, and he said he is happy for Barron's family. We're, we're uh, happy that uh, they have some peace of mind. They've been through a great deal, and, and they too never gave up searching for their dad. They're, they're, you know, Mr. Barron was the patriarch of that family. We understand and sympathize with their loss, and we hope this provides them with a little bit of, of peace and, and um, closure. The discovery of Barron's bones in a wooded area of Old Forge last year confirmed he'd been murdered. Schubach soon found himself in handcuffs. Over the past week, prosecutors called two dozen witnesses to try to put the 38-year-old Schubach behind bars for the rest of his life. They found out early Wednesday afternoon they succeeded. First-degree murder carries a mandatory term of life in prison. After 10 hours of deliberation, the jury also found Schubach guilty of robbery and burglary. Defense attorney Bernie Brown tried to raise doubt among the jurors that someone else must have been involved. But, in the end, the jury reached their verdict. As disappointed and devastating we are, we do respect um, their verdict and their, their decision. Um, we may not understand it or um, understand how they came to that, but that's part of this. It took more than six years for the police to find Robert Barron's remains. It took almost 14 months for prosecutors to bring Shu back to trial, and it took a judge just a moment to say the word that Barron's family was waiting to hear. Guilty. Yeah, Judge Nealon said he will order a pre-sentence investigation. We don't yet know when Shubak will be back in Lackawanna County Court for sentencing. Live from the newsroom, I'm Joe Kohut, Newswatch 16. Joe, thank you for that report. You can find complete coverage of Robert Barron's disappearance and the trial of Justin Shubak at WNEP.com.